I'm Julian Perry. Uh, I'm a London-based landscape painter, and we're at Galloper Sands Gallery in Great Glenham in Suffolk. And this is an installation of my exhibition, Hiding in Plain Sight. It's a project done for uh, Jason Gaethorn Hardy here at Galloper Sands, concentrating on his pollarded trees. It's a continuation of my studies of uh, the British landscape and the British landscape under a certain amount of stress. My work has addressed issues of coastal erosion and all sorts of uh, issues to do with land use and how that reflects um, society as a whole uh, today. I'm an artist who has a great affection for the landscape tradition. It's one of the defining characteristics of British art is the landscape tradition. We have some of the heavy hitters in that tradition. And my technique borrows heavily or learns heavily from uh, those illustrious predecessors. Although based on observation from nature, my technique actually uses technically processes that are historic and I've learned through the study of ancient paintings, old paintings. And that's a technique that exploits the complexity of oil paint and its ability to be both opaque and transparent. And that's the way that you get very rich looking paintings and paintings of a complexity that is very different from uh, impressionist paintings, if you say, when, when the quality and, and techniques in painting changed radically. Uh, my paintings are, uh, hark back, slightly anachronistic, to much earlier paintings, possibly even the Northern Renaissance and the late 15th century. This is one of my favourite paintings in the show. It's called Ancient Lopping, and it best encapsulates the project. I recorded the top of this ancient pollard and all the historic generations that have, have lopped it uh, or pruned it, pollarded it, creating this very, very complicated and very ancient uh, organic form. When a tree is pollarded, it creates an infinitely more complicated organic sort of sculptural form. Um, but from a technical point of view, this is one of my favorite paintings because it's one of the most successful uh, attempts at the techniques that I've been exploring in this project, which is the removal of paint as much as the addition of paint. So a large percentage of this painting is, is, is in negative, where I have scraped away the paint to create the light patches. So whereas normally you work from light to dark, in this instance I painted the whole thing quite dark and then removed the paint in order to create the modelling of the various forms. It also is one of my favourite paintings because it looks like one of the oldest. It looks a bit like it was done in Germany in about 1450 or something. Uh, and I like that very much because that sort of period of work is, is, is amongst my most favourite. This is both the oldest and the largest painting in the exhibition. It's called Three Pollards and it dates from 2004. And it was originally exhibited in the London Guildhall Art Gallery and uh, it was the first of my really large paintings um, for that much larger space than I thought that I was going to have to exhibit in. And we've brought it here to Suffolk uh, because it's Pollard, so it was, it was very, very appropriate to include it. It's, uh, as I say, it's Epping Forest, which most of the trees in Epping Forest are pollarded, and they're extremely characterful. That's one of the things, defining characteristics of a pollard and uh, we're pleased to have it here as a kind of contextualising uh, with its place in the history of my practice. But I have been painting pollards for quite a while now. People can see my work uh, on Instagram, uh, on the website here at Galloper Sands Gallery, and my own website, uh, julianperry.info.